Good evening. Okay, let me know if you can hear me. Okay, this is Angie at Chicken Scratch. Today is July 19th, 2022. And we are live. I say we. I mean me. Okay. Just waiting for that first comment to let me know that you can hear me. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to go ahead and share the video really quick on the other platform. There y'all are. Good evening. Awesome. That child of mine, I think she calls every time I go live. Okay, how are y'all doing? Is my fan bothering y'all? Good evening. Okay. Oh my gosh, it is so hot everywhere, right? Even in the UK, it's hot. Okay, so far no one has said anything about my fan. Yeah, and I have my fan going because it is so hot. Our air conditioner cannot keep up. Um, but if it's distracting when I start to make the project, let me know and I'll be happy to, to turn it off. I might have to turn it off and turn it back on um, because it is a little toasty in here because the sun is setting. I'm getting some hand lotion. Um, the sun is setting and it's coming right in my windows. So I think you can see a little bit of a glare uh, in the background, a little bit, right? Okay, so I have a super cute project to share with y'all today. Um, and there's a little bit of a backstory to this project. Um, we are in full baby shower. Let me turn this fan off. Um, Cause I feel like I'm kind of talking really loud. Um, we're in full baby shower mode right now. And so these are the little, oh my goodness, I dropped something. I got to pick it up in a minute. Um, these are the little jars that I'm working on. Um, yeah, so don't ask me how, how many hours that took for me to, um, to do. Um, and then the napkins. So when we're done making the project tonight, I'm going to show you all these napkins. And I want it on the video so that I can watch it later, too. I cannot believe how long it took for me to figure out how to make um, the napkin that I'm going to be making for the, um, for the shower. So we have a little bit of housekeeping notes. Um, or it's not really housekeeping notes, really, because that's a bad term, actually, right? I've got my measurements for y'all. Um, if you're new to my channel or new to watching videos, um, hello and welcome and thank you. I always forget to say that, so I'm going to try to start doing better about saying hello to my new people. Um, we're going to do chick candy a little bit different than what we did last the last three weeks. I've got some feedback. I got some feedback back <laughs> about um, how we were doing it. And we're going to change it up. And I'm going to use, uh, oh, I can turn my fan on, back on. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit because it was kind of distract distracting for the video is what some people have told me. And it was a little unorganized. So what we're going to do is um, the three chick candies for tonight's video. I'm going to announce the winners tomorrow. So let me grab that basket. So this is not the same chick candy that's over on my website. Let me switch the cameras. Um, here we go. Okay, so chick candy for today. The way you're going to enter to win is we're going to not use the chat box tonight. 
we're going to actually use the comments. So when my live video ends, uh, leave a comment. You can say anything you want. You love the project, whatever. Um, and then th th that way, some people that are still working right now, because I have a lot of people on the West Coast that are still working uh, this time of day, so they can still watch the video tonight and enter to win. So leave a comment in the comment section. I'm going to draw the winners tomorrow. So this is going to be a very quick turnaround. And I will use Comment Picker, it's a website, to draw the winner. And I will reply to your comment on my YouTube channel. And I will also share this same document next week with the winner's name written in. So that way, if you happen to not see uh, your comment, then hopefully you'll catch it this way. And if you're out of the country, and I draw your name, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to tell me you're out of the U.S. We cannot send Stampin' Up! product out of the United States. Just like the U.K. demonstrators can't send product out of the U.K. to the United States. Okay, sorry about that, but it's not my rule. So the three prizes are the star treat bags, the pool party, and soft sea foam um, cards and envelopes. This item has already sold out. I did not hoard a bunch of them. I only have about eight. So it wasn't me that took all of them. Uh, and then the third prize is going to be the hippest hippos, which is what we're using tonight. Okay. So if you have any questions about this, I answered my um, email pretty quickly now if you use this one, helpdesk at chickenscratch.com. Okay. Now one last housekeeping note. The regular chick candy is over on my website. You guys already know how to enter to win. If you don't, all the details are on my blog. Here's the drawstring bag. Someone said, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, whoever it was. The person that won the uh, drawstring bag last time, she said it was so much cuter in person than what it looked on the, um, on the picture. Are y'all ready for the project now? It's so cute. And I will have the PDF available as soon as I sign off. I went ahead and worked ahead today. So here is the little project. And it also will hold a gift card. So here's a Starbucks gift card. And it slides in just like that. So you can write them a little note and slide the little gift card in there. Isn't that neat? Okay, I'm going to look for questions really quick. Let's see. Um, I know. I was sad to see them gone, too. So um, I'm not going to hang on to mine. Uh, I'm going to give them to everyone because I have no need for, for them, right? Um. Yeah, I'm going to show the napkin when we're done with the project. Okay, so let's get started. I'm not going to go over the measurements since we already have them. Um, I'm going to, do you guys want my face in the corner or not? I never know if I can even figure out how to do it. Let's see. Nope, that's the wrong way. Huh, goodness gracious. There we go. How's that? Is that too obnoxious? <laughs> okay, here we go. I want to be able to look at your comments. So I'm just kind of sliding these screens around so that I can see everything. If you're new and you're not familiar with the chat box, all you have to do is sign into your account and um, Sign into your account and you can participate in the chat box. Okay, so here we go. Now, remind me which one of you uh, emailed me about purchasing the um, Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper? This does not look like this is the right size. I think it is though. I'm a little bit of a chatterbox tonight. It's been a whole week since I've even hardly stamped because I'm working on uh, shower stuff and Brooke got moved okay so what am I getting first 
I think the die cut machine, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have to put my eyes on. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I can see everything now. Okay, so we're going to be using three sets of dies. And, um, you know, my little, uh, I'm going to move this stuff out of my way. I have a rolling cart that I work from. I think I've told y'all that before, right? I love it. Okay, so here's the stamp set. This is in the Celebration Catalog. We're also using the coordinating dies. So if you place a $50 order, you can get this stamp set for free. If you place a $100 order, you can get the stamp set and the dies for free. And I've had a couple people that were confused. And um, I'm going to explain. If you're in the shopping cart and your order reaches 50 and you're trying to find the celebration choices, if you click check out, it's then going to show you all the celebration items. So that took me about 24 hours to figure out myself that you have to click on check out before you can um, see the celebration choices. Okay. And you're not checking out yet. You're just continuing on to the next phase of checking out. Okay. Um, so here's the dies that we're using. We're using the, hmm, I got to find my supply list because I do not remember. The mini, mini pocket, mini, <laughs> mini pocket envelope dies. And the stylish shapes or the layering circles. If you don't have the stylish shapes, you can use the layering circles. And then the hippo. Okay, so these two are the stylish, no, these three, I don't know. I'm going to get myself confused. So I'm not even going to tell you what's in what because I'll mess up. Uh, so what we're going to do first, I think I've talked long enough, right? Somebody's probably saying, come on, get it done. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to open this up. So I'm going to remind y'all... Um, don't forget after the video has ended to leave a comment on this video and I have to tell y'all um, all the winners from the past three weeks every single person has already claimed their prize and they all ship the very next day so that rarely happens Okay, so we've got this piece done. We're going to go ahead and do the rest of our die cutting so that we can knock all that out. So I'm going to put this back on here. Well, I can't do all of it because I've still got to do the hippo, but we'll do the other parts. So then we're going to take this piece is my scrap. So I'm cutting this piece out and this piece. How is the temperature in Atlanta? I bet it's pretty dang hot, right? I know. I don't know. Sometimes it's actually hotter here, uh, being in the Midwest. Sometimes my sister and I. Well, here's something that we find really strange. I'm on the same time zone as Kim, my sister, and it gets dark in Tennessee quicker than it does here. Did y'all know that? Like, it'll be daylight here. The sun will be still up. And it'll be pitch black in Tennessee. And we're on the same time zone. Okay, so here's those two. Um, it's so confusing. I don't understand. <laughs> oh, I have one more. I have the little um, umbrella. And then the vellum. Where's the vellum piece? Here it is. So we'll do both of these. So on my original one, I used the layering circles, but this time I'm going to use 
the stylish shapes and we're going to see which one I like best. Oh, you had a thunderstorm. I am so jealous. We have not seen, we have not had a, a thunderstorm in forever. I mean forever. Okay. Well, we, we will little, 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 we will have to get this back out again in a little bit because we got to cut out the little the little hippo. Um, let me get this one up. Come on. Okay. Okay, where am I going to put this big shot? It's not even a big shot. Listen to me. Talk about going back in time. My stamp and cut emboss machine. Here's the measurements again. Now let's stamp. We got all of these pieces. So I need y'all to tell me what you would prefer. We, now that I'm having a granddaughter, um, yes, I'm having a granddaughter. Um, <laughs> We don't have a pastel pink in our lineup. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. We really need a pastel pink, right? Um, this is Blushing Bride, right? Blushing Bride. Have I reverted back? Nope, it's Blushing Bride. Um, and so that's the color in this paper. But we don't have a Stampin' Right marker or a Stampin' Blend marker that's this color. We have a Stampin' Right but not the Stampin' Blend. So we can use Petal Pink, but on this one, I use their Retired Pink Pirouette. Do y'all mind if I use the Retired color? Or would you rather I use the Pink Pirouette? Um... So here's the difference, except ignore her, ignore this part, because I should have colored that gray. Y'all want petal pink? Just leave a comment in the chat box. <laughs> How do y'all like that? <sighs> yeah, we need a... We need a pastel pink so bad. I mean, come on, seriously. So that's why I had to use fabric for my jars because we don't have a pink, we don't have a baby pink color. Yes, we used to, pink pirouette. Okay, so I can go ahead and use the retired color. Thank y'all. And I did actually buy myself a couple extras of this, and I even still have some of the card stock because... Somehow I knew I was going to have a granddaughter. <laughs> okay, let's stamp. This is going to go really quick because it's, it's a super simple project. Okay. This is the little ballet one. She's, she's doing whatever you call that. <laughs> and then we're going to do the greeting in the corner. Oh, thank you. Yes, my daughter-in-law. Um, although we can't say anything on Facebook. They haven't announced it over there yet. Um uh, <laughs> Um, she's due September 4th, right around the corner. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate so I don't mess up. Um, I'm going to do the pink first. Hey, that's supposed to be under there. There we go. Okay, so her, uh, her ears. Oh, I was going to call that a tutu, but is it a tutu? I really don't know. What do you call this on this little hippo? Yeah, I have to tell y'all. I was not going to tell you, but I'm going to tell you. I think I searched for three hours on how to tie this one particular 
um, napkin three hours and I'll tell you I was so distraught I thought what in the world am I gonna do and so I posted it on my downlines Facebook group and I posted a picture and I said does anybody know oh it is a tutu yay I said does anybody know what fold this is and several girls um, uh, replied and then Melissa was the one that got it right. And I can't tell you the name of it because the video that I got, there's no words. There's no talking. It's just a video with music. And there's um, there's no words, just music. Not, not even music, just a video. So I can't even do like English Translate or Google Translate because there's no words. So I don't know what the fold is. But I'm just so excited that I got it. I even asked my best friend Tracy. I and I try not to bother people when they're at work. But I'm like, do you know what this fold is? And she said, I have a napkin book at home. At home, When I get there, I'll look at it. Well, like two hours later, I finally said, okay, I got it finally. It takes a village. I'm so thankful that I had my down... I guess if my downline had not been able to answer it, I would have eventually posted it on my um, other group. My child, that's two times Brookie has called now. I think she has forgotten that I'm live. I know, I've switched it. First, way back forever ago, it was Facebook Friday, like what? six, seven, eight years ago. I don't even know. Maybe even ten. And then I changed it to um, Mondays and now Tuesdays. And I just have to say that Tuesdays work so much better for me. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it works better for y'all. It just makes such the difference. I feel so, more, so much more prepared now. Look how cute she is. So now I'm just going to cut her out with the coordinating die. Okay. Where's my, there it is. So I was thinking that if you were expecting a grandson, this would be cute done in like balmy blue or Pacific Point. And you could use our color stacks um, instead of um, the Gingham Cottage. I love the Gingham Cottage, but it does not have uh, a boy. Well, you could use the green. I can't remember which green is in there. I did not cut that exactly perfect, but that's okay. Not the end of the world, right? Okay, so where did the little... I'm looking at the comment. The little stickers on the bottom of your markers. I have those over on my website. It's a free PDF. Who said that? Uh, Leslie, I have a free PDF over on my website. You can print it. And I even have a video on how to use it. So if you'll send me a comment or an email, uh, I'll send you the link to it if you can't find it. So there's my email. Okay. Yeah, it's a free PDF. So this is going to go together pretty quickly. We are using some additional... Um, oh, it looks like i got the sun coming across. Uh, we're using a couple other retired items today. So sorry, but maybe y'all already y'all already have a corner rounder in your. Um, oh, did I forget the tag? Oh no, this is the tag right here. It's just these. Yeah. Okay. So one eight circle punch is not in our inventory, and a corner rounder is not in our inventory. But y'all probably already have those, right? If you've been paper crafting for a long time. So what I'm going to do is round the top part of the white piece. This is our tag. And then the top part of the washing broad. 
Hey, did y'all notice that I put some dark in my hair? Actually, I didn't do it. Um, I had it done. Okay, liquid glue. Yeah, I have like probably five or six different retired um, corner rounders from all the ones that we've had for the last almost 30 years. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet because I don't want to get glue on my desk or my paper. So I'm going to put liquid glue on only on one side of this. Hi, Susie. Okay, just a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm going to attach it to the back side. Well, I should have folded it in half first, so, grr, that's okay. It ain't going to stick. Look, now both pieces have glue. Perfect. Okay. So let it stick to the back side first, and then... Like that, okay? So that's how it's going to look. And then we're going to take this one. The one eighth, and punch the hole. There you go. See? So two retired items, but hopefully y'all have them. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and assemble this. So we want to fold this on the score lines. So if y'all were wondering if this little die will hold a gift card, you now see that it does hold a gift card. Yay! I'm going to use my silicone craft sheet again. And I'm going to put liquid glue on both of these pieces. And the reason I'm doing that is tear and tape is too wide. I could trim it, but liquid glue works, so we're going to do that. Just don't do too much because you don't want to seal. You don't want to seal it. You know what I mean? You want to be able to put your gift card in there. Okay, so just fold that over and just hold it for a second. And if you got any extra glue on your fingers, just it kind of, um, you can roll it right off. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, who said that some, it softens my look? Thank you. Yeah, I was feeling a little washed out with that, all that blonde. So I'll change it again. I won't change the length because I love the length. I can wear it in a bun. Y'all know that already. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. Then we're going to attach the um, vellum right in the middle. And the easiest way to do that is to use um, glue dots right smack dab in the middle. Because you know the middle part is going to be covered up. This is called the mini pocket envelope mini pocket envelope dies mini mini pocket yeah thank y'all okay now I'm gonna add this little rectangle here so I'm right on right on track okay let me close a blind real quick hold on let's see wrong one See, isn't that nice? I had to get blinds on um, remote because I just knew. Okay, there's that one. 
Now we're going to need some Stampin' Dimensionals. It is a new die. Yep. Uh, every die that I'm using is actually new. So uh, the Stylish Shapes, the uh, Mini Pocket Envelope dies, and the Hippo dies. Yeah, they're all new. Now we still have to do the greeting, but we'll go ahead and attach her. So her, that foot is going to come almost off the edge, but not quite. <laughs> and then we're going to attach the envelope um, also with a Stampin' Dimensional. Wait, what did I call that? Umbrella, I mean. I think I call that an envelope. Um, now I'm just going to take the greeting and cut it with my scissors. If you don't like cutting with your scissors, you can use your teeny tiny trimmer or a die even. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. That might be just a smidge too long. So we want it to just tuck up under there. But I do want to trim more over here. Yeah, okay. So cute. So we still have our ribbon to do. I'm going to pop this up with a dimensional. Now the ribbon. So we're using the crinkle seam binding. And we're using the Sweet Sorbet um, twine. Yeah. Now I'm going to take two pieces of the crinkle seam binding. I think I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I'm going to do two pieces of seven inches. I'm pretty sure that's probably way too much, but I don't want to, it's better to be have too much than too little, right? So I'm putting those together because uh, this little hole here is kind of small to be fitting two pieces through there. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to straighten them somewhat. Oh yeah, that's a lot too much, but no flames. I should have measured it earlier, right? Um, now. Don't let me forget when I'm done with this to show y'all the napkin. Somebody remind me. While I'm tying this bow, I'm going to remind those of you that just arrived, don't forget to leave a comment on this video when we're done. When it's over and done, I'm going to be drawing three winners tomorrow. I always say I can't tie ribbon when I'm talking, so I'm... Okay, now I'm going to tie a bow. I gotta slide it down further. There we go. <laughs> okay, almost done. Sometimes I think it takes longer to do the ribbon than it does the whole project. There we go, that looks really cute. And now we need to clean up the ribbon. So the front two, I'm going to cut. Is that those two? Yeah. So I'm going to cut those up. Up row. There we go. And then these two, I'm going to cut. If you're wondering, yes, I have cut myself before. Many times, right? Some of y'all probably seen me. One time I burned myself with the uh, hot knife. 
on camera. Okay, so here it goes. Slides right in there. Look at how cute. And we didn't even add an embellishment. Uh, you could. You could also put some Wink of Stella on her tutu. <laughs> um, yeah, so cute, right? And I'm also afraid that um, the hippo dies might might um, might not last the entire um, celebration period. Yeah, they could sell out. So I'm hoping I'm hoping not, but they actually could. So I'm going to show the um, measurements again, and then for those of you that um, want to stick around and see the napkin folder. I'm going to show you that in just a minute. This PDF is going to be made available uh, about 15 minutes after our video ends over on my blog. I've got the blog post completely typed up, so you'll be able to print this PDF. It has the pictures, it has the measurements, and then it has the supply list in case you want to order something. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, if you have a question, I'm going to look through all the questions before I sign off, but I'm also going to demonstrate the napkin real quick because I think that y'all are, um, some of y'all might, might want to um, know how to do it. Yeah. So let me get out of my chair real quick and pick up the napkin that fell on the floor. <laughs> okay. I could actually um, turn the camera off my face now. I don't need to see me for this part. But I'll leave this here so that if anyone happens upon us, they can to, can see that. Um, Y'all are still there, right? Yep, you're still there. Okay, so now one of the problems with this napkin is that it's supposed to be, um, it's supposed to be, a square to make it work properly and it's not square it's off it's more of a rectangle so it's not going to look exactly the way it's supposed to because it's not a square um, so anyway so I've unfolded this rectangle napkin and then I'm going to fold it point to point but because it's not square you're going to see that it is um, not perfect. Yeah, see, it's not perfect. You can see this side and the same thing on this side, but that's okay. It's still gonna look beautiful. We're not gonna worry about it. So then the next thing we're gonna do is fold it like that. Okay, so here's how it looks right now. And then we're going to fold it again in half. Okay? <laughs> who would have thought that I'd be uh, doing a, um, a napkin folding video? <laughs> okay, so now all of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I already don't even remember how to do this. Like, am I doing this right? I don't even think I am. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. Oh, yes, I am. I'm doing it right. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm folding it back and then forward and then back and forward and back and then forward. Okay, now I need something to hold that for a minute while I come and do this other side. Okay, so. Okay, so look at here. I'm gonna use this, but I'm gonna be tying these with twine. So here is the fold, and then right here, 
um, we'll pretend this is the silverware. So this is going to get, but I can't slide it in there because I'm using a clip. But if the clip's not in there, then we're going to put the silverware in here like that. And then I'm tying this with our linen thread. Ruh row it came undone a little bit. But anyway, it's going to look super beautiful um, once I get the gold silverware in there. So we'll pretend that this is linen thread. And here it is. See, this part's going to be flat. So it's not a leaf. like, uh, it, It's not a leaf because the leaf one... Uh, is two pieces that come together. This is not, this is just flat. <laughs> so look how, I'm on a roll. Um, this is not fabric. This is just very thick, a very thick napkin. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It's going to be really beautiful with the gold because here's the gold. Um, and we're putting butter mints in here, pink ones. And then the gold silverware will go in there. I'll be showing y'all pictures. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to scroll back now and look for questions. Thank y'all. Thank you. It is pretty. It makes me very happy, all this stuff. <laughs> I guess I could leave it here and somebody that happens upon us could... could um. I always say that, don't I? Someone that happens upon us. Hey, you just never know who's going to pop on, right? Okay, so I'm going to scroll back now. If you have a question you'd like for me to answer, um, I'm going to scroll back and look. And if I missed your question, um, don't hesitate to, um, to email me. I am putting uh, pink butter mints in there. I went to the store and I bought pink Starburst. That was going to cost an arm and a leg. I'm just going to tell you. It took a half a bag of the big bag just to fill it up. So now David's eating those. <laughs> um, and I, then I also bought um, gold Hershey Kisses with the almonds in them. And that was going to be really expensive too. Um, so I bought two big huge bags of pink butter mints. Plus, who doesn't love a butter mint? Yeah. So that's what's going in them. Pink butter mints. And I'll show y'all pictures later um, of them. <laughs> this thing is going to roll off. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so now I'm going to look for questions. I did order the jars. I got those on Amazon. They came in a pack of 24. Um, yeah, so Amazon. If you need the link, let me know. I'll probably add that link in the description Tomorrow, it won't be tonight though. Okay, thank you. Uh, so I answered what's going in the jars. Um, okay, so Carol, this is, you see this, right? Yeah, so the, the gold, and I'll be sure to show y'all when I get the gold silverware. It's not going to be here till tomorrow. Um, yeah. It's plastic. It's gold plastic, I should say. <laughs> yeah, it's not. And I I can link y'all to the napkins, too. They're super thick. Uh, I wanted, I got ordered. Oh, my gosh. I just can't wait to, to show y'all what I ordered. I ordered these woven placemats. And so the woven placemat, you know, is like a wood, woodish looking. Um, I can't think of what that term is called and then it's going to have a white plate on top and then it's going to have this with the silverware in it it's so pretty <laughs> um okay I'm looking at questions again I got I got all caught up I told my sister last night I sent her an email well wait y'all want to see the picture I sent her an email and and told her I said not an email I sent her a text message and I said I could just look at this stuff all night long. It makes me so happy. So here, can y'all see that? Here's what I was working on yesterday for hours. Um, this is the cake plate and um, the napkins, the tool. Anyway, isn't that neat? The little platters. Yeah, so I'm setting up my table 
as a mock-up for like what I'm how I'm gonna decorate um, the dessert table <laughs> okay going back to questions I got sidetracked again um, oh that's a good reminder to make extras for my granddaughter's scrapbook you're right okay let's see I answered that about the die uh, yeah, so the die was the mini pocket envelope dies. That's what made this little. And don't forget, it does hold a gift card. Where did I put the gift card? Maybe I should take this one out and slide that one in so people will see that that is a gift card holder. Who doesn't love a gift card holder, right? Uh, I answered the die. Oh, lots of people ask about the die. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, somebody else likes Tuesdays better. Yay! Awesome. Okay, so before I sign off, don't forget to come back to this video as soon as I sign off and leave a comment, and I will be drawing the winner tomorrow. Um, that's last week's. Where's that list? Oh, it's over here. Here we go. This. Yes. Here. Okay. I think I answered all the questions. What I'm going to do now is scroll back down um, to the very bottom and see if I missed anything. I think there's questions earlier that I didn't. Let me just click on live chat. Even when I click on live chat, though, sometimes I still can't get all the comments until after I sign off. So I'm going to just scroll back to the bottom. Um, what are you using the mini hippo envelopes for? Yeah, there, it's a gift card holder. Isn't it awesome? Yeah, a little mini. And it'll fit in with the tag too. So you can either slide it behind the tag. You can't even see the gift card uh, if you put it behind the tag. Yeah, so this is just the gift enclosure card with, with the gift card. Oh, Oriental Trading. I should have looked there. Thank you. I'll have to remember that. I should have looked. I forgot. Uh, where do you get the printed instructions? They're not actually instructions. It's a PDF that has all the measurements. Um, and it'll be on my blog in about uh, 15 minutes after I sign off. Um, who said that? Uh Diane, if you will, if you, I can't comment on, um, on the chat box once it's over. It won't allow me to comment. But if you'll post that comment in the comment section, I'll give you the link directly to my website that will take you directly to this. Okay? Yeah. Isn't it cute? Okay, I think I'm going to sign off. I think I've answered all the questions. Uh, I do still sell the chick stand over on my website. Let me see if I can post that link real quick. I think it will let me, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Chick stand. Okay, let me get my keyboard. Copy and... Here is the link to the chick stand. Did it go? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I'm going to sign off. My next scheduled video, my next scheduled live video is next Tuesday. So I told y'all last week, <laughs> my goal is to have more than one video a week once I get past everything. Yeah, y'all know. Lots of balls in the air right now, so I don't plan on forever just posting one project, but my goal is to post at least one really cute one. Thank you. Thanks, Deborah. Okay, y'all have a great night. Thank you for uh, being here, and have a great week. Good night.